Right, here we are under the stairs, in the cupboard under the stairs, and um, I'm going to plug the Arduino ESP back in and let it boot up. It's got some power coming from my little server under the cupboard, in the cupboard. That should boot up and start flashing away. I'm going to plug the CT, there it is, it's flashing. Plug my CT into there. And I'll just set this up. Actually no, I won't, I need to adjust the resistor obviously. So. Do that and see if we can get it to read the same as it does on the fluke meter. Okay, so I've been messing around with this thing for a little while. Um, the 10 second updates were too slow to be able to work out what was going on, so I've updated it to update every one second now, as you can see by the flashing blue light. Uh, I've also hopefully now got it to output the amps instead of the watts so I don't have to keep converting it from what the fluke is saying from that into watts every time which is what I was doing here and got completely bored of doing that so uh, hopefully it should now be working fine still need to tune the tune it in a bit so that the uh, for the resistor to be the right value so I catch actually get the right values from my little CT uh, sensor there, the blue one. So even more messing around, the, um, the variable I was using was a float but I was then converting it into an int um, to, to uh, display it in uh, Home Assistant but that's when it was watts, but now that it's back to amps again, I need to actually keep it as a, a float. So now hopefully you can see my iPhone, the watts, which is actually the amps at the moment. It's actually not what it should be reading. It's not the right number. It's a little bit off. So I now need to tune that in with that little pot get the right value. So here you should be able to see, if I get both in the shot, that that's pretty close. So they're both reading 22.9, 22.8, 23. This is with the oven on, so obviously that's quite a high reading. So the next part of this project that I need to finish is the temperature sensor and humidity sensor which goes on to that other little uh, socket there. Um, at the moment it's just been dangling in the cupboard and just showing a really silly temperature and humidity which doesn't mean anything. So I'm going to try and get that to be connected up so it's outside the cupboard and uh, actually in the, in the kitchen.